guys, it's Deligracy here and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 4 Barbie Season 3 Part 27 or 28? I think it's 27 or 28. Anyways, we are back with Barbie. Sorry about the hold up on episodes. Usually Barbie's a pretty consistent series, but I have been away and I'm back from LA. So all is good in the hood. And uh, in the last part, we were actually focusing on a few of the families, which was kind of nice um, that we all got to catch up on what the extended family has been up to, as opposed to just Barbie herself. And hello, gorgeous. You know, Indigo's got a... Got a little bit of a tum tum there. It's the cutest tum tum ever. Oh, I love it. Anyways, uh, this is Topaz's house. It looks like, um, oh no, crying toddler. Uh oh. Oh dear. It looks like Lamassi is feeling a little bit, um, a little bit tense from crying siblings. And why are you sad? Oh, he's sad because the poor dolls. Hug lovingly. Let's give you a hug. I can't wait to see what these toddlers look like when they age up. I think I'll keep them toddlers for just a little bit longer, though. Uh, let's get Topaz to use those uh, beautiful muscles of his to repair this house. I love Topaz. A lot of you guys are asking me to put him in my... Oh, we got parenting level skill one. Good stuff. A lot of you guys were saying, can you please put him in my dream life LP and end up with him? Because you guys know I've had a, a crush on him since he pretty much came into the LP. <laughs> Oh, go for the hug. Oh, Alchemy. Name. What a cool name. I love the names of these, of these toddlers. Okay, let's fix that house for Alchemy. And he needs to get some potty training, so we might do that afterwards. Topaz is in a pretty good mood. Actually, does he have work tomorrow? Uh, Wednesday. Yeah, he does have work tomorrow, but he doesn't have work until 2 p.m. So I think we can actually work on his comedy skill a bit more because he's only level five and he's supporting his entire family that has three kids plus his wife. So I feel like we need to work on that a lot more. Wow, he's just fixing it from <laughs> in thin air. That was good. Oh, look at the floor is all broken. Oh gosh, he did a shapoopy. Oh no, he just used his diaper. Okay, well I guess instead, uh, Topaz, you're gonna have to change that diaper. Check the toddler, and Indigo can now use the potty chair. Good girl, Indigo, what a good girl. Let's maybe get you to go potty. Uh, that would be a good idea. And Lamasi, I think I wanna get her to have a part-time job. Aww, He's so cute. <laughs> Oh, is Indigo because she looks a little bit more like she has a bit more puppy fat than Alchemy? Does that mean she'll grow up a little bit more chubby? Um, I hope she does because I I think that would be nice to have a bit of diversity in this LP. Oh, that animation is really amazing. Look at her just go potty. <laughs> Doing the old sway technique, I see there, Indigo. One of my friends told me that they sway on the toilet to make it easier for them to go. And I'm like, is that a thing? Is this a thing that people do that I've never known about? I don't know. Comment down below. Uh, toilet talk in this LP today. Anyways, uh, okay, so you need to go to bed. Uh, Nita's just getting some food. Okay, so what I might do is let's get... Uh, oh, what was that dollar sign? Let's put Toddler to sleep. Uh, we'll put Alchemy into bed first. Sounds good. And then when Indigo is finally done, she's really taking her time on that potty. She really is. <laughs> Uh, after that, we'll get Nita to put her into her bed. Uh, you know what? What's, what's the difference between put to sleep? Oh, I think he they'll read them a book or not. Okay. Oh, this is so yucky. Uh, after that, I really want uh, him to empty that, and that sounds good. All right. Lamassi. How's Lamassi doing? Like, she's a creative kid, but I feel like she has nothing creative going on in her life. Yeah, so she's creative, but she's not really good at any creative things. Maybe she should pick up the guitar and just practice a little bit. I think her... Okay, her grade is B, but her performance has gone down a bit. Do I want her to focus on her homework or her hobby? I think it's better to focus on something you're passionate about. Oh, maybe that's wrong with me. 
Maybe I shouldn't have said that. I don't know. I feel like she doesn't look... She's a little bit too perfect, this outfit. A little bit too sophisticated for a teenager outfit. I don't know what you guys think. All right, Nita. How you doing, girl? She's going to hop into bed. And who's this guy? Hey, all. Can you kindly keep the noise down? I can hardly hear you through the drywall. What? What, from the guitar? Do we have to... Okay, we'll listen to his complaint. We don't want Whoa. them to get a get a bad rep in this apartment. Jeez, Salem. Simpson. I'm sorry, you're right. That was a bit inconsiderate. We'll try to keep the noise down. Thanks for letting us know, good neighbor. Can we at least introduce ourselves? Just do a friendly introduction at least. Like, Topaz is the kind of guy who's like so chill. He'll be like, yeah, man, no problem. We'll turn it down. Nice to meet you. You'd be like, I like your, your jacket. Oh my gosh. Okay. Goodbye. Wow. Salem's just a rude guy. That's so rude. I think what when everyone goes to bed, I think he should uh he should probably you know what? I'm gonna get Ulamasi to go to bed too. She can work on her art later. Or her creativity later. I want Topaz to work on his jokes, so write three comedy routines. So he can go to the computer and do that. We'll go over here and compose medium routine, refined comedy routine. Uh, I think we just want to do some extra ones. Yeah, compose medium routine. There you go. Uh, oh, wait, that's not his job. That's just his aspiration. Write, perform routines. Yeah, okay, so that's good. If he writes that, then we hit two birds with one stone. I feel like that's a really mean saying. Like, that saying makes me sad. I also love this little office space <sighs> and <freeze> <laughs> this green wall. Actually, this build I really like. I really loved making this build. It's just a very cool, bohemian kind of house, but still really nice and modern. Like, I know, it's just, I like it a lot, you guys. I'm just tooting my own horn right now. <laughs> and I like this house. But I know some of you guys enjoyed it too. Why is this red? Uh, aggravating conversation. Yeah, fair enough. And he's feeling loved from quality family time. That's good. That's good. And I assume all of... Oh, manners are down. Interesting. Okay, so all of these are not too exciting right now. Oh, we were going to make her a painter, weren't we? Okay, well, she needs to... <laughs> Do that. She needs a part-time job. She needs to work on her hobbies. Maybe a part-time job will take too much time away from her being a painter. So maybe we should reconsider her getting a part-time job. But then again, I feel like they just don't have a lot of money. Like they are going through those savings from Margie quite quick. Hey, excuse me. She's very sad from having a nightmare. Oh, come over here, honey. It's okay. It's okay. Make funny faces to her. Make her laugh and then put her back to bed, I think. She'll be okay. She just had a bad dream. So we'll read Indigo to sleep. Excuse me, neighbor. You cannot be in our... Get out of our toddler. Oh, you. if you kick that down. If you kick that down, Salem. <gasps> what a terrible neighbor. What? You are... Child is sleeping. Okay. You know what? I'm sorry, but that is just inappropriate. We're going to be mean to him. Shout some forbidden words. Because Topaz would get angry. He's just in our bathroom. It's like, you do not break into my house at one in the morning and kick down my kid's... Oh, My kid's dollhouse. Like, I just fixed that today <laughs> as well. So you know what? Oh, That's well, just rude. <sighs> Ask to leave. Like, get out. Bye. Please leave. Flynn. Crummy. He's like, oh, me? You, you want me nah. to leave? I should really get going now. Yeah, you should. Salty Salem. Wow. What? How rude. You know what? Let's just... We need to put Indigo to bed now. You know, we're just trying to get all of our work done. There's so many things going on in this family. It's just crazy. All right. Put you to bed. And let's continue writing those jokes. Uh, comedy. Continue composing routine. Because we need we need to definitely do that. Oh, 
Topaz, I love you. I also feel like he'd look cool in the new pants from the fitness stuff pack. That would be cool. All right, so he's writing that up. And once he's finished, I'll pop him to bed. And then I think we might go back to the Barbie dream penthouse. We need to do another Barbie build soon. I'm still undecided of where I want them to live, whether it's a beach house or if it's more suburban again or in the desert or... Oh, can you guys please leave um, leave your comments down below about where where it should be? Because I'm just confused at the moment. Also, little Marcy's up, which is good. Oh, she's just getting a drink of water. Maybe get some hunger. And she loves her paintings and artwork. That's good to hear. Nice one, Lamassi. Nice one. I do like her shorter hair for a change. Oh, of course, we were going to make her a painter. She's got like all of these, these easels in her room. Duh. My memory. I swear my memory sometimes is just messed up. Oh, well, that was short-lived. <laughs> we'll just put that over here. Look at the little chopping board compared to the big chopping board. It's really cute. It's really cute. Okay, acquired the painting skill. All right, guys, I'm going to go over to the other household. Okay, so we are back in the Barbie Dream penthouse. And who's that coming through the door? Oh, it's Onyx. Maybe that's a sign that we should focus on Onyx, actually. I love Onyx. He's one of my faves. Anyways, how is his schoolwork going, actually? High school C. You know what? I think it's one of the guys who wouldn't do that well at school, even though he's really clever with technology. Uh, so what we might actually get him to do is go into his bedroom, which is over here. Oh gosh, we better replace this with the uh, Margie, Margie trust funds. And I think what we might do is just practice some more programming for him. Because he seems like he's in a pretty good mood, yeah. Even though it's like four in the morning. Why is the whole household up at four in the morning? That's what I want to know. And Ken is having a midlife crisis as per usual. <laughs> One of you guys said that he should shave up, shave off all of his hair, and I kind of love that idea. <laughs> and Barbie can have a freak out and be like, what have you done to your hair? Your beautiful locks. I've been buying you the best shampoo for years to keep your hair perfect, Ken. And he should grow a little beard. Oh, yes. This is perfect. Like a really, like a bad one. Oh, that's so nasty. Okay, let's shave his head. Uh, is it gonna be in short hairdos? Uh, not bald, I want shaven. Sh like a buzz cut, like this or this. Oh, wow, Ken, crises. Uh, it's crises with a K for Ken. In his Hawaiian t-shirt, good grief. Okay, there we go, Ken. He's, he's just shaved it off. He's started growing a little bit of facial hair. He's probably been hanging out with Topaz a bit and Topaz was like, yeah, dad, you look great with shaven head. You know, grow a beard. <laughs> I love it. Oh, wow. All right, and then we'll get Barbie to go upstairs and have a little freak out and be like, what have you done, honey? Oh, and check it out. Look who it is. It's good old Flint. Hey, Flinter. Oh, a few of you guys were asking about the family tree again, so I'll quickly go through it. Uh, I get asked this a lot, because clearly this is a pretty big LP, so there's there's a lot of storylines going on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I feel like we only need one more child that we would have reached our Barbie aim. Basically, there was Margie and Giorgio. Giorgio, unfortunately, was deleted from the game, so we can't see him there, but Margie is the mother of Barbie. Barbie is married to Ken, and then they have their nine kids. So we have Diamond, who has her children, Mercedes and Armani. Uh, and then they had Jem, who is now in a relationship with Margot, that he's just proposed to her, which is very exciting. And then who did we have? We had Topaz or Amethyst? I can't remember. I think it goes girl, boy, girl, boy. So then there's Amethyst. Wait, where's her adopted child? They adopted a child in the last part, her and Akash, but I guess because they're not officially married, it doesn't come up on here. But yeah, they, she has an adopted child because her partner, who she's not married to, he can't have children, so they decide to adopt. Although he's having an affair, which is devastating, uh, which a few of you guys, I think most of you guys said that he should tell her, so we might do that in the next part. I don't know if they should break up or just separate for a little while and get back together. I'm not sure. And then there's Topaz, who is with Nita. And Nita and him have had Lamassi, Alchemy, and Indigo, which is really nice. So, 
their nice kids. And then... Oh, and also the kid's father here is Augustus. But he and Diamond divorced a little while ago because their relationship wasn't working. Uh, and then there's Onyx, of course, and Ruby. And then Pearl, who Ruby doesn't get along with. And then Ruby's in a relationship with their old butler, Marco. <laughs> it's just so much going on. And then, of course, there's Jasper and Flint. I feel like that took so long to go through. But yeah, that, that's basically the whole storyline. If you're severely confused, I understand why. Oh, Ruby Roberts, Ooh, work for Ruby starts yeah. in one hour. What would you like to do? Uh, I think we'll actually get her to go into work today. And... Her and Marco are really, really loving each other. I feel like he should propose to her. And Holiday. I think that would be, that would be good. Okay, Barbie's in here. We'll get Ken to walk in and just say hi, honey, to tell a joke about penguins. And she's just going to freak out. <laughs> I can't wait for this. Oh. She's like, uh, Ken... L let me talk to you in the other room, please. Come into my office. Let's take this outside, honey. She's like, what is wrong with your hair, Ken? What do you think you've done? <laughs> please tell me it's a jerk and it's a wig. No, honey. Okay, let's just have... Oh, no. He's not going to shout forbidden words. Barbie's going to shout oh, forbidden words. He's like, oh, Barbie, I just want to do what I want to do. She's like, you're breaking my heart by shaving off your perfect head. Do you think I married you to be with a shaven head? Pandalay. Do you think I went to all of those baseball games because I've enjoyed it? No, I did it for you because I know you like baseball. It's like, Barbie, how could you? You never yell at me. They're going to have their first fight ever. <laughs> Argue about his parenting. Now all the other Bring things that were wrong babe. come up. And Pearl's like, hmm. Dad, are you and Mom having a fight again? It's like, yes, honey. Your mother doesn't like my decisions in life. <laughs> Pearl's like, oh, she's, she always overreacts. Your hair looks Ooh, fine, but maybe that. shave. Oh, yeah. Please oh. shave, Dad. <laughs> Okay, so in terms of her needs, she's good. Her homework's half done. She should be going to school in one hour, though. And the two boys are both asleep. They're pretty tired. Oh, congratulations. Ken's taking his first steps on his culinary journey from the city. Oh, cool. I don't really know how that happened, but okay. Bobby's like, honey. Did you do your homework? Oh, yes, Mom. I did it. It's like, well, your grades should be better than they are. You're getting letters from your teachers and they think you can do a lot better. Reach parenting level one. Nice one. And let's do a bit more parenting. Encourage recent. Encourage doing our homework. Oh, she's like, Ken! Please. Oh, so immature. Ooh, hey, Wimbo. Oh, I think she would just Free be so salty. Bono. She's just like, okay, Ken, what? I've had enough. I'm going to go shopping. Hmm? <laughs> 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 uh, too good. Maybe we should get Barbie to do some online shopping. I wish that was a thing in The Sims 4. They should have an online shopping. Oh, she's going to go talk to her mom. Oh, no, she's going to mourn her mom. She's like, Mom, what do I do about Ken? Ken's hair. Why don't we write a book? Write an excuse note for. Hmm. Does that mean they get away with not doing their homework? I think she should get into writing. Let's write a short story. I think she's already got a little bit of... She used to be good at writing back in the day. Back in the first season. Yeah, she did a bit of writing. We have a few books, I think. Okay, go to grade school. Good stuff. We should have made their lunches. Oh, there's too many kids to look after. <laughs> we need to get all the kids to move out. Okay, Onyx, you, you need to go to school. You need to go to school. Uh, Charisma, dancing, fitness, logic, programming, level two, video gaming, level two. I want him to really, really start getting good at both of these. I love Onyx. He's a good kid. He's a good kid. And Pearl has finished her homework. Excellent. Life through rose-colored lens, through pink, through pink-colored uh, 
Chanel's. <laughs> this is a book of fashion by Barbie Roberts. There we go. Also, uh, also the Marco situation. Marco. Maybe we should invite Marco over. <gasps> Maybe Marco wants to ask Ken for Ruby's hand in marriage. <gasps> this needs to happen. This needs to happen. Why is Barbie in such bad mood? Oh, she doesn't have very good energy. Do we have a new butler, by the way? Since Marco left? Marco Bianchi. Yay! Ruby got a promotion. Promoted to story researcher. That's great. Uh, okay, her next shift is Saturday. Well done, Ruby. I feel like, okay. Oh my gosh, she's in his like full butler wear. Marco's like, hello, Ken. I would, I would like to speak with you and Barbie in private, please. Oh, we should get Ruby. Oh, she's feeling flirty already. Let's just... Make out in closet quickly. Oh my gosh, she's already Bobby. thinking about babies. She just wants to grow up so quickly. Ken's like, oh. Uh, what's going on here? Look at that cra crazy eye. He's like, the, the, the what, Ruby and our butler? What, what is going on? Without us even knowing? He would not be happy about that. He would be like, oh, you were, cool he's going to talk to Barbie yeah. about this. Oh. He'd be like, he was, oh, he was part of our family. Oh. How could he end up with our daughter? Maybe they could have an argument about it. Their marriage oh, is definitely yes, under strain cool. at the moment. Um, just argue a bit more, argue about parenting oh. is probably a good one. Oh, bleesh. She's like, I don't know what to do about this. It's like, how could she? And Barbie would be like, look, in the end, she's going to choose what she wants to do. If she wants to eat meat, if she wants to be vegetarian, she does what she wants. The kid's just like, but this is not okay. She's too young. <laughs> Anyways, where did Marco go? Is he hiding? He's probably too nervous. He needs to have the conversation. Uh, she's going to bed. Where is Marco Bianchi? Marco Bianchi. Oh, he's in his old bedroom. He's reflecting on what he wants to do. Let's call him over. I don't think they can approve of this wedding. I think Bobby would approve. And Ken wouldn't, and that's why they're arguing. Maybe ask about his career and be like, so what are you going to do now? You don't have a job and you, you want to marry our daughter. How are you going to support her? Marco can be like, oh, she's a career woman. Like, if I don't have a job, it's okay. I mean, I'll look for work, but Ruby's very talented. You're like, oh, God. Fruge. I think maybe Ken would get very angry and yell at Marco. I think Ken uh, would dislike yes. Marco, actually. Shout forbidden <laughs> words. He's just going to lose it, I think. Brow. Do you think you're so great in your Blingle. little tiny pants? I didn't want to give him a compliment. Oh, shit in the flu. Mock his outfit. Uh, uh, so this under our what noses without us even Slurs. knowing yeah. that you were with our daughter. Topaz, this is not a good oh time. Pambic Trimba? Argue uh, about crowl. his career. Oh. That sounds about right. Insult. <laughs> and then maybe Bobby can just to Barno. tell Ken oh, to calm down. <laughs> We're not going to get divorced. Be like, Ken, please stay calm. Marco is in love with Ruby. <laughs> and I give him my blessing. Damn, up. Cheerful introduction. Yeah, she's like, we, Marco, I'm happy to start from the beginning as your future mother-in-law, no longer your employer. I think Ken will just leave. She's like, you're sick. You're both sick. She's too young to get married. He should go have some time with Topaz. Why is Topaz looking at the toilet? Help fix bad relationship. What with Kelly, the cousin? Yeah. 
<laughs> Maybe you can focus on someone else's problems. <laughs> oh, the it. drama is real. He's like, bye bye, Mocker. Bye bye. Duh. I need a holiday. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to leave this part right here. Let me know what you think should happen with Ruby and Marco. Should she move in with him? Should she get a new house uh, thanks to her inheritance from Margie? Let me know. Anyways, you guys, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon.